My name is Margie Kerr. I'm a sociologist and author who studies fear. <laughs> fear is when we think about the threat response, the fight or flight response. What's happening is our body is essentially going into go mode. So we've got lots of adrenaline, endorphins, uh, our metabolism is kicking into high gear, everything that's preparing our body for survival to make sure that we can either run away or fight or basically just survive. Uh, so that's the, the intensity that, that people feel uh, going through haunted houses or scary movies. Uh, our body is reprioritizing all of the resources, so we're focused on the here and now. There are a lot of gains to scaring yourself. Um, if we just start with what's happening in the body, uh, it does provide an immediate energy boost. In fact, our research shows that people, you know, are less tired after getting scared, uh, and it's kind of counterintuitive. But you know, you go in and you're getting this massive uh, adrenaline rush that's really going to make you feel energized. And the natural high is, is a very real thing. It, it can feel very good in our body. The difference between what I would call real fear and uh, fun scary is, is choice. You know, we don't generally like being startled when we're just walking to our car or have an expectation of safety. Uh, but in the context of choice and with the addition of absurdity and spectacle and friends and family, all of those ingredients of the, the physical reaction, that response can come to take on a different meaning of a fun challenge, of an exciting new adventure. One of my favorite things to watch is the transition from the scream to the laugh. Uh, and what's happening is, you know, we, we scream, we're startled, we're surprised, uh, and then we immediately remember, oh gosh, I'm in a safe place. Uh, this is ridiculous. You know, why am I getting so scared of, of zombies, of things that I know are not really going to hurt me? And so all of that, that high arousal, all of that intensity that's in our body can then be kind of transitioned into just laughter and hilarity. Being scared can be good for you. I mean, it can act as an in the moment uh, confidence boost and kind of help you develop a better tolerance for for stress uh, and also serve to build really strong memories so that in the future you can think back to something scary that you did and you made it through. And so it can serve as a kind of reminder that you can do it, that you know you are stronger than you think. When we choose to, to be frightened, when we are saying, I want to be scared, I can do this, uh, then it, it's definitely a good thing. You know, it's an opportunity to learn about yourself, to build a sense of confidence. And if you're with friends, it's an opportunity to bond more closely with them. So now you have a experience where you both were stressed and you made it through together. So that's going to form really strong memories and, uh, and then a closer bond too. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.